What's up, Upfront fam? I'm si Torres Daza, and I hope everyone's safe right now during this COVID-19 crisis. I hope everyone's staying at home, practicing social distancing, and as well, proper hygiene. Wash your hands and keep everyone safe around. But for today, though, we're going to be sharing recipes because it's very important that you keep nourished at this time para matataas din ang immune system natin. So for today, on Upfront, we'll be sharing recipes that we will be cooking with some of our UAP Lodis. For today, we have a very special guest. So guys, let's give an upfront welcome to Ateneo Lady Eagle slash Choco Mucho Flying Titan, Kat Tolentino. Boom! Hi! Hey Kat, how are you? I'm good. Um, Lately, Marita, though. you're in Canada right now. Yeah. So, um, how does it feel to be back in your hometown? How's the quarantine situation over there? Um, it's uh, it's so nice to be back home. I haven't been home for two years. Um, I'm actually just with my parents right now, so it's good to be back with them. I mean, I don't normally get to come home unless um, we have a long break for from training. So um, it's it's such a um, blessing that I'm able to fly home. Um, and so far, the lockdown here is um, it's okay. It's not so strict. Um, we're allowed to go outside. We're allowed to um, go biking or go for walks or runs just because there's a lot more space. But for me, I really am um, just staying indoors when, um, when I can or like if I have to exercise, I would um, go to our garage or just stay in front of our house. Yeah, and so that's usually your daily routine, I, I guess, like waking up, exercise. What do you normally do? Yeah, I mean, it's very different for me. Um, I'm used to um, having really early morning training. But right now, um, my daily routine is usually I have breakfast. And then after breakfast, I usually work out, um, do weights or uh, whatever ball drills I can do. And then I, I've been cooking a lot. Um, so it takes up a lot more time. I mean, I cook lunch and dinner for my parents sometimes. Um, yeah, I mean, it's very um, basic, but every morning I start off with a workout just so that I can get my energy going just because sometimes I get lazy if I don't. Okay. So what would you say is like your specialty food? Because we were able to talk to your teammate, Bea De Leon, before, and she said that you cook a lot and that mahilig talaga ka magluto. So what, what, what would you say is your specialty? Um, probably... What cuisine? Um, well, Philippine, well, when I was cooking um, there, I cooked a lot of Filipino food. My best one, I think, was like, um, probably chicken tesino. I mean, it's from Yum. scratch. So, from scratch? Yeah, from scratch. So like, I actually have to make the sauce. I have to get the actual like, raw chicken. So it's not really as like, um, it's not as unhealthy as like, the ones you buy from the store. Yeah. And it's pretty good. You can ask Bea and she can definitely. Okay, okay. Yeah. We'll be sure to ask her that. But for today, though, we have two recipes that you're going to be trying to cook. Are you up to the challenge? Of course. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Woo! Okay, so I'll go first. Um, this recipe that we're going to first do, I came up with it. My dad helped me come up with it. I cooked it one time for work, and everyone absolutely loved it. It's tuna mac and cheese. Super simple, and I'm pretty sure you can get all the ingredients from your kitchen drawer. So, you ready to try it? I'll cook it first, then let's meet up later para sa taste testing mamaya. G? Okay, sounds good. Okay guys, so I'm here with my dad right now, and he has to go out and get his quarantine pass. Mm -hmm. So, in the meantime, he has to yeah. be safe, guys. <laughs> and be sure not to leave your house, and if ever you do leave your house, one person at a time, one that's household. Correct. That's correct. So, so while you're out, mm -hmm. you gave me the recipe for your tuna yeah. mac and cheese. And it's gotta be easy. And the Spanish omelette. Yes. Correct. So while you're gone, I'm gonna cook those two things and then they taste that way. Yeah. You have to try this. Good recipe. Okay, so we're gonna cook the tuna mac and cheese now. Let's go through the ingredients. We have one quarter cup of oil. Then we have garlic, one third cup of chopped onions, half a cup of tomato sauce. And then to add flavor, we have this chicken cube, cream of mushroom soup. And then I said one can of tuna in the recipe, but I'm gonna put two. And one cup of grated cheese. Uh, any cheese will do. This is a lot of macaroni, so we'll probably be using half to three quarters. So I got all the ingredients from Ters. 
So let's see if I can create my own version here in our kitchen. Okay, so we got some boiling water. I added some salt, so my lasa. And then I said, we're gonna cook the macaroni first, because that'll take the longest. So let's put it back. Half of this, while well, that's boiling, that'll take about 10 minutes, according to the instructions on the back. <laughs> I'm gonna start cooking the sauce, naman. So I have oil, we'll start with that. We put the garlic in first. So garlic burns fast, so you're gonna have to work fairly quick here, look at it. So yeah, sauteing the garlic nina. After that, we will add the onions. Boom. Look at the onions, you know they're ready once they start to become translucent or they will become wilted. We will add the tomato sauce. How, how do you know once the tomato sauce is cooked? Uh, it'll be, I know, then some of the oil will come out. Okay. And so what you want to do is add the chicken cube. Chicken yeah, cube, yeah. Okay. Boom. If you don't have that, then it's okay. So we're adding the cream of mushroom soup. And guys, be sure to keep this can, because this is what we're going to use for the water. Boom. So you don't have to cover it up. Yeah, you don't have to cover it. You don't have to cover it. So, we have the grated cheese here. Actually, a cheese spread is okay. Here's the tuna. Yeah. So we're gonna add it. We drain them both. Yeah. Zoom in on the sauce. Check it out. It's thickening on the edges. Crush up all the tuna. Wow, look at that. It's thickening. Okay, so we added two tablespoons of seasoning liquid. Good. Okay. Into light. No? Sir up. Sir up. Mm -hmm. So the macaroni is ready. So here's a tip in, in order to stop it. Just turn it off, Muna. And then pour a glass of cold water. Boom. So it stays up. Like and then we will drain it. Okay. So here's all the pasta. It's okay to get some of the pasta water into the sauce because that also has flavor. Okay, so this looks about cooked and ready to go. Boom! Ang sarap! Okay, so this was the tuna mac and cheese. Um, very simple and easy to cook as well. All the ingredients are at home. So let's try it. Ready? Cheers. Ready? Cheers. Mm. I think this one's the winner. But it's good. It's good. I think I'm the type that if I were to make this, I'd put like three cans of tuna. Just so like, protein overload. Uh, for me, I put so much extra cheese. Really oh yeah? Yeah. Really what, what cheese did you use? Just cheddar cheese. Wow. So I didn't have like um, what I normally use, so. Yeah, it's just basic. And it's very easy also because um, it's not many ingredients for mac and cheese. So this version of mac and cheese, of course, there's tuna. Um, what did you think of like the upgraded taste? Like even though there, like you mentioned there weren't many ingredients, did it taste different from like normal mac and cheese? Um, yeah, definitely. The uh, It's interesting to use tuna just because it's um, something that everyone has and it gives it more of a salty flavor. Um, okay. It's a good complement to all the cheese also, I think. So, so far, mm -hmm. I, I mean, this is the first mac and cheese res uh, recipe I've made. And will it be something you'll make again? Yeah, I, I uh, definitely think I'll make it again. Maybe I'll, instead of tuna, I could do like, um, like chicken or something. I don't know. Yeah, cause I'm not a fan of seafood as much, but definitely okay. the sauce is really good. Yes. Guys, that's the signs of a true chef right there, Kat. Just like changing ingredients in her head, coming up with new dishes. Boom, kaleng. Okay, so for our second dish, we're gonna be cooking Spanish omelette. This is a traditional breakfast dish in Spain.
Okay, so for our second dish, we're gonna be cooking Spanish omelette. This is a traditional breakfast dish in Spain. Very simple and easy to cook. And I'm sure it will impress all your friends because you can add so much stuff to it. You can add ham, tomatoes, and any leftovers you have just to enhance the taste further. So, Kat, you ready? Of course. Number two. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so we're gonna start the Spanish omelette now. Uh, usually a breakfast dish in Spain. So what we have, we have quarter cup olive oil, half cup onions chopped, two cups of cubed potatoes, one and a half teaspoon salt, and one teaspoon pepper, and we also have six beaten eggs. Okay, it's a very simple recipe, and it's fun because you'll get to flip it in the pan. So I'll show you how to do that. Let's go. We're gonna cook the Pasta, let's add some of the oil. I'm gonna keep some of it though for later. It's hot now. So I took out the water. And we're gonna add the potatoes! Mm. Hot. All of it. So what we're doing right now, we're just softening the potatoes so that they're cooked. You can actually feel that the potatoes are softening. Like when you stir them, you feel it on the... Uh, wooden spoon, I guess, that it's softened. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take it out. It's actually, the potatoes became white, or like translucent almost. So yeah. Boom, that looks so good. It smells really good too. Okay. And we will add onion. So what we're gonna do, we just saute the onions until they become see-through or they start to wilt. We're gonna preheat it. You want the flavors to come out of the onion. So this is when we put back our potatoes. Boom. Yum. And then so some of the taste of the onions goes onto the potatoes. Mix it, add our salt and pepper, mix some more. Okay, so once you mix everything up, let's add it. So just pour it all. Boom. Should take about five minutes for this side and then the fun part we flip it and cook the other side for five minutes. So let's give that a try. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. Here, look. So now comes the part where you flip the omelette. I feel like this is a, a big moment for me. Time for the flip. So we're gonna use the spatula to help with the flipping. In case anything goes wrong. One, two, three. Ooh, looks good, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Woo! Okay, guys, tapos na tayo. We're done cooking, and the food smells great. We smell great. Yeah. Anyways, Kat, how was the experience for you? Nahihirapan ka ba pagluto or no? Um, it was a little hard, but it, I got the hang of it in the end. I mean, I huh? finished the recipe, so hopefully it's good. Which would you say was more the more challenging recipe out of the two? Um, definitely the mac and cheese one. I mean, the I don't know how to cook um, mac and cheese, so it was new. It was definitely new for me. Up next is the best part. This is the taste testing portion. So, do you have your portions oh. ready to be tasted? Let's show it off. Let's show. Yeah, okay. Wow, you're such a rough. What did you add? It's um, actually like this salsa or like tomatoes. It's a basically like fresh salsa, but then yeah, just for just for plating or design. <laughs> Did you have an easy time flipping the omelette in the pan? Oh no, I stopped after a while because I knew I was gonna drop it. So I just flipped I it normal. Believe them. Believe yeah. them. Well, here's mine. It's very small, but then loaded with flavor. 
So, you know. Okay, let's taste that. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Sarap. Mmm. Mmm. I like the potatoes. Yeah, I can imagine like eating this with like sausage or something. Like yeah. with ketchup. Or like bacon. Yeah, it reminds me of hash browns, kinda. Yeah. Like I could put maybe I'll put ketchup. Would you say this is something you would cook again? Um, definitely. Uh it's such an easy, fast recipe. Um the ingredients are just usually something that you have in your fridge. Um mm -hmm. and I even like added salsa and you can put like ketchup. So I can I would definitely see myself eating this um or cooking it for the rest of this quarantine. And there you have it, guys. Congratulations, Kat Valentino, for joining our cook-off challenge for today. Um, nag enjoy ka ba? Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course, yes. Who doesn't yeah. enjoy cooking? Yes. And you know how to tell if the food's really good if you eat it and then you think of your loved ones. So, <laughs> hey. <laughs> I never heard of that before. Oh. Okay, but speaking of your loved ones, though, I'm sure. All the volleyball fans are missing seeing you on the court. What's your message to them, lalo na ngayon sa COVID-19 crisis? Um, well, I just want to say thank you all who supported me um, during the UAP season and in PVL. Um, I want to send a um, positive message that uh, I know we're all having a hard time in quarantine, um, that it's not what we're used to, but something that really worked for me and really um help me get through uh, it's been around a month get through the quarantine is to have a routine i mean being able to um have something set and something um to do planned out beforehand is definitely a way to stay motivated and to stay productive i'm not always super busy and even if you aren't as productive and even if you're not able to do all the things you were uh, before um it's just nice to have a routine and also to um, continue to pray and to just ask that ask um, God for help um, in these uncertain times and for all the frontliners. Um, we just want to say thank you for all the sacrifices and um, being there for everyone. And I also just wanted to remind everyone to continue to stay at home. I know it's hard, but um, that's the least we can do for all the people who are out there in the front line working hard for us. And also, if you are to go out, um, please wear a mask and always make sure to wash your hands and sanitize everything if you plan on going out. And guys, for those who really want to spread the love and help those struggling with the COVID-19 crisis, well, you can give any contribution to the Pantawid ng Pagibig. With your donations and contributions, we can help a lot of families. And Kat, thank you so much for joining us for today. It was so much fun. I hope you enjoyed. And I hope you're taking care as well there in Canada while we all await for your return back into the PVL. Join us more next time as we feature more of your favorite athletes only here on Upfront! Up yes, high five! Hi, I'm Gemma Galanza of the Creamline Cool Smashers. And I'm Dino Wong, former Ateneo Lady Eagle. Marami daw sa inyo ang curious kung ano lagi namin dala everyday. So it's revelation time and we're reading each other's bags. What's, What's in, in your bag? bag?